Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. And look who's just coming back from their walk. It's a rather familiar little blue and white creature. And the dog as well. <laughs> He's hiding behind a bush. Excuse the wobbliness, I am zooming in. There he is. Just coming back from the WALK. No, too loud. It's like a greenhouse in this car. Um, it's Saturday, 30th of May. And um, yesterday, We've got two, haven't we? We've got two of those, or is it two hoes? And we've got two? No, we've got two, two uh, other things, but only one of these. So how come it's twisted? I, I was turning out and did that to get, it, to get it out, and it just snapped. Cheap shit, you see. It's only riveted. Yeah. See one, where do you go and get another one? I'm just going to work, sharpen this edge up to make it easier. He's broken one of the garden tools. Typical. Anyway, as I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted by him, um, we've been in the garden. So the plan um, to put trellis onto one of the garden fences to grow the clematis up there, um, it's done. So finally, or we finally got the, got the trellis up and in, which I will show you in a minute, or when we get back later. Uh, and done some more planting so it's taking shape so now as um, lockdown restrictions and quarantine's been eased a little bit um, it makes it a bit easier to actually get hold of stuff so because I did all our shopping mum's and I was on Wednesday, we've actually started to run out of stuff, so that's where I'm heading now. I'm just going down to the supermarket for, just to pick up a few bits and pieces, bread mostly, um, that kind of thing. So, so yeah, it's been a busy couple of days. Well, you can tell lockdown restrictions have been eased by the amount of traffic on the roads as well. Haven't had to queue here at this traffic light set for three months at least. It's Sunday 31st of May and it's exactly a year to the day when we picked up the keys and moved in to the new house. So for the last couple of days Ian and I have been spending the glorious sunshine out in the garden kind of relaxing not doing any work as such a little bit but not a lot over the weekend on the garden so we finally managed to get the trellis pieces that we wanted to and get those up on the wall so I will show you those in a little while. So, new additions to the garden. 
So we've carried on with the flower border all the way around that way. So it now comes all the way down. Now that's where our uh, garden shed stroke potting shed is going to go. As you can see, we've got lights in too. But the biggest addition to the garden is that. So we've added some trellis up onto the fence for privacy between us and our neighbours. We're going to do the same thing on that panel there and that panel there. Some panels along the back here and some on that fence too, which will give us a bit of privacy between the neighbours. Not just for us, but for them too. But I've also planted uh, clematis and honeysuckle on both sides. So that will grow up onto the trellis and give us a real nice display of colour, hopefully. Somebody's nearly falling asleep. Good little leg. Oh, oh the big straight upside down dog. Mr. Starling, I'm Detective Chief Inspector John Barnaby. Okay, so I've had to come inside because it's far too warm, sat outside. I'm not used to the, um, the real hot sunshine, <laughs> not with my skin colour in. And I burn quite easily, so I've got to be very careful about how long I spend sat outside in the sunshine. So I thought I would come in, cool down a little bit, and I thought let's have a little bit of an art chat. Break up the weekly vlog with a little bit of chat about doing a bits and pieces of art. Now, I've completely finished now the first volume of my volume of the dolls and I did 17 pages 17 double page spreads in that volume of the dolls uh, and I'll be doing a flip through of all the pages next week by the time you see this it'll probably be the Thursday or Saturday when I do the flip through for that so um, but I've done 17 pages in that and I said I'd probably end up doing another volume, a second volume of that, but I didn't want to do another 17 pages because, let's face it, if I did 17 pages in the old volume, I'd do another 17 pages in another in a second volume, that's going to be like 34 pages of the same kind of thing or the same kind of style. And I think I'd get a little bit bored trying to wade my way through doing as many more again it would become a little bit tedious a little bit boring um, not just for me but also for you to watch as well um, so what I thought I'd do I do still want to do a volume two but in a different format so instead what I thought about doing was maybe creating a postcard sized um, journal rather than finding a book that's got stitching to actually do or create a postcard sized one a four inch by six inch that size so i first of all cut quite a lot of mixed media card stock with the idea of actually sticking those leaves in to create the, the leaves for the page so each so stick each one to each to the back of the other and that would create a new page in which to work on but then I suddenly realised after I'd created these that if I did that then a double page spread would be 12 inches by 4 inches. No, not a good size to work with so I kind of abandoned that. They'll get used for something else, I'll probably end up cutting those up for ATCs. But then I thought well hang on a minute, rather than do it landscape, why don't I do it portrait? Because at least two of those side by side would then give you an 8 by 6 to work on. And that's not a bad size. Not a bad size at all. An 8 by 6 would be, you know, would look quite nice in a journal. So that's exactly what I did. I got some grey grunge board. I cut some mixed media cardstock at um, 8 by 6. And I did enough to create 10 double page spreads. And then I covered the grunge board with some um, some papers from an old paper stash, 
because Sunflower is my favourite, that's what it looks like. But to make sure that I can get the book to lay flat, I've put a fabric spine on it. So I've actually wrapped the fabric around um, the paper block, the text block if you like, left a little bit of an expansion gap, so I've not glued the grey grunge board directly down. So that creates a nice kind of flexible spine that will allow me to be able to lay the book flat. Just like that. And then just because I could, I also added in some um, internal pages just to make it look nice. So that's what I've done. So that is going to become um, volume two of my volume of the dolls. And I'll probably start that next week. And there's enough, like I said, to do 10 eight by six pages so I can get dolls on either side or whatever kind of layout you want to. And I think it's gonna be a nice little size to work on. I can do them quickly, but I think another 10 pages is enough. Enough's enough. An egg's an egg. No, you know what I mean. But we're just taking a break from work to have some lunch. And a yoghurt. And a yoghurt. To spare. <coughs> well, I say yoghurt, it says yoghurt. It's Singer Strawberry and Cream. And it's like 96% cream. So it's more cream than yoghurt and somebody absolutely loves to finish, finish it off, doesn't it? So you've been doing your, or preparing your stuff for, <laughs> for your Steampunk Tuesday today, haven't you? I've got the yoghurt on me if I have indeed. Yes, so, and that's what's on the table now. So you can see the big sunflowers all nicely cut out and there is something go. else in there as well which is for the week after which is the uh, the florals yes stuff, that is see. a little bit of a sneak peek it is. um so that's what you've been doing today i have um because the sun's been shining again today hasn't it it has indeed it's beautiful out there beautiful out there out there in the real world out there you may say wow we sat in the sunshine because it's Monday and we're working. So you've got to work. Yes. Because we go in the, as soon as we set foot into the garden, you're not allowed back in again. That's right. It's not work then. No. So no. we've got to stay in. And it's Monday, so yes. we have to work. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's raining and it's been raining since about midnight. So it's pretty much been raining all night and it's still raining now. So according to the weather forecast here in the UK, that we're going to have, in our region anyway, rain for at least another week. So Wednesday, shopping day, I phoned mum this morning bless her she was still in bed when I rang <laughs> so dad had to get up and uh, go and get me the shopping list to read to me so it's not a big shopping list today hopefully the queues aren't going to be so bad so lots of people have gone back to work um, so hopefully the queues aren't going to be long I'm not going to be stood out in the rain for that long waiting to gain access um, the traffic this morning isn't as bad as it has been as well so that bodes well so fingers crossed I should be done and back home again for lunch So that's all the shopping dropped off at Mum and Dad's. Mum's a bit disappointed because she couldn't go out today because nobody wants to stand outside the supermarket queuing in the rain, particularly when you've got bad back, osteoporosis and emphysema. <laughs> Definitely not a fun activity. So yeah, so she's feeling a bit disappointed, but it is what it is. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. Thank you.